Welcome to Mr. S's classroom. This is an update for the AP Physics 1 test exam as well as class updates in general. If you are a student and your teacher did not give you this information, please pass this along to your teacher because this is very important. This was an email and a public release by College Board in regards to the, the exam. This is an exact quote from them. Some professors were streamlining their own courses, but each in their own way. So there's no consensus among colleges on AP content that can be cut without jeopardizing college credit. Note, the only exception is AP Physics 1. Colleges agree that Unit 8, 10 through 10 can be removed from the AP Physics 1 since they are covered in AP Physics 2. Accordingly, Unit 8 through 10 will no longer be tested in AP Physics 1 effectively this year. Yes, Unit 8. 9 and 10 are removed this year. It also says effectively this year. That might continue for next year as well and forever. Physics 1 no longer is weighted this way. This was how the exam was. And this is what your teacher should have covered. Okay. During the year, we only see you for so many amount of time. So we paste this based on the weight of the exam. So this is why we cover your forces more because it's weighted more. But days on circular motion, it's less because it's less likely covered on the exam. Energy, a lot. So we spend more time on energy. Same thing with momentum. Okay. We pace our pacing based on this. Now, the fact that 25%, a large chunk, was now removed. This is how the new exam looks like. How I got these distributions was I just took the high values of what the original exam is and they still add up to 100%, okay? If you wanna double check this information, if you go to the AP College Board website and look right here for college, uh, for classroom resources, they actually have a download for the new pacing if you wanna see. And look, if you go down to their pacing, in theory, you should already be, be past chapter three, okay? You should be at least on four or five, right? Look, they have it paced up to only 7.3 at the end, all right? So that should give you definitive information that the exam is completely different, okay? How does this affect your preparation? This is the breakdown of all the types of questions that are asked on the free response based on the units. Certain questions are limited to certain sections. Example, kinematics, experimental design, but dynamics has no experimental design and vice versa. As of right now, the exam format stays the same, okay? This new change will affect the free response. I broke down each section of the type of questions by each unit. Notice, these are the big three, okay? In the big three, experimental design, qualitative and quantitative and short paragraph, these will never overlap. That means if you have a unit one, which is kinematics in ex experimental design, you're not gonna get a unit one kinematics for, sh for your paragraph argumentation, okay? So same thing with unit five, which is momentum. It's gonna be one of them, right? So if experimental design is kinematics, you're most likely gonna get momentum as your short answer, okay? Energy and dynamics are very unique as they will stay in the qualitative quantitative, okay? As well as short answer. So please be prepared for that, right? Please pass this information along to your teacher. And if your teacher is covering a unit that is not on this, Raise your hand and say, look, this is not on the exam. Why are you wasting our time? Because the goal of this class is for you to understand physics so you could get college credit. All right, there you go.